Cloud Application Integration Error Logs An error is a record of critical errors encountered by applications, operating systems or servers. In many cases, error logs serve as extremely useful tools to troubleshoot and manage systems, servers and networks. In this video, we will see different logs available to troubleshoot errors in CAI processes. In CAI, all issues fall under two categories, issues with CAI processes and agent down issues. Let us first discuss about errors related to the CAI processes. Consider a process with an error. To get a detailed information about the error, in the advanced properties of the start step, set the tracing level to verbose. Now, publish the process and open the service URL in the new tab. Here, observe that the argument for invoice ID is missing. Let us pass an argument for it. To check the error, navigate to the Application Integration Console and open the faulted process. We can see the cross mark next to the faulted step. Under the Logs section, we can see the time taken for each step to execute. Also, when we select a step, we can see the input and output fields associated with it. As of now, we can see these details only for a service step. For more details, click on the Advanced view. From the Logs, select Faults. The first fault gives the required details. We can copy the details to a notepad file. From the log, observe that get customer details expects a value. Open the process. In the get customer details step, observe that a wrong field is assigned for the ID input field. Select the correct field, save the process and publish it again. Observe that there are no errors and the process is successful. Let us see a few more options that are helpful to troubleshoot an error. Navigate to the Advanced view. Here, we can see the generic details of the process such as the process name, the current state, either completed or faulted, and the start and end date of the process with timestamps. For a faulted process, we must check the input that is sent along with the corresponding response obtained. Here, under Variables, we can see the input, output and temporary variables. For the input variable, we can see whether the data is sent or not. If it is sent, we can see the input data here. For the output variable, there is an error. The output data is also incomplete. We can check the execution flow of a process under the Flow tab. Under the Partner Links tab, Process Consumer gives the information about the invoke method of a process. It also lists the headers that are sent through any application like Postman. The View Log option displays a list of the logs. We can download the log either for further analysis or to send it to the support team. There is an activity log where we can check which activity is faulted or completed. As the filter condition is set to all, all the activities will be displayed here. If we want only the faulted activities, change the filter condition to false. Here, from the first activity, we get the details of the error. With the help of the data change filter, we get the input and response details. In Automated Step Input, we can find the input under the Parameters section and in Automated Step Response, we can find the output that is generated under the Fields section. Additionally, we can also check the logging of hidden system processes for any connection or a service. By default, System processes do not log the information. For this, 
we must modify the logging properties before we run a process. In the Deployed Assets section, under Deployed Processes, clear the Hide System and Hide Public Options and submit it. Let us take a system process or an asset called Business Connection Automated Step which gets triggered when Informatica executes a service step. We cannot modify the properties of any system process that is deployed on the cloud server. Every system process that is deployed on cloud is also deployed in our agent. Let us select our agent, clear the hide systems and hide public options from the group and submit it. Locate and select the business connection automated step process. Observe that the logging level is set to fault. This indicates that this process logs only on error. Change the logging level to full. This makes a process to log every activity related to this service step. After making the changes, click Update and close the process. In the current UI, we cannot view the system processes. In order to view the logging of system processes, switch to the old UI. For this, in the URL field, retain till active was and delete the rest of the URL. In the active processes, uncheck the hide system and submit. Here, we will see all the triggered processes. Among them, for system processes, the group name is displayed as shown. The number of system processes triggered is equal to the number of services that we have in the process. In our example, we have two service steps. Thus, two business connection automated step processes are triggered and these system processes are triggered in the order which they are present in a process. Open the required system process. Once we open the process, we can see a similar view as that of advanced view of a process. Also, we can see the input, output and temporary variables information. In the log section, we can find the logging related to the system process along with the timestamps. For additional logs related to any process or connection published on agent, we can also check the Catalina log file present in the logs folder. Check the logs corresponding to the date when the process runs. We can even increase the logging level in Catalina log file. To do so, in the agent folder, go to the conf directory and edit the log4j2xml file. To increase the logging for a specific class, we can have a new logger entry in the log4j2xml file. In the name field, give the required class name and give a value for the logging level. The available values for logging levels are trace, debug, info, warn, error, all or off. We can change the value of the root level with appropriate values as discussed. This will log the entire information. To avoid any space issues, ensure that the logging levels are retained back to info after getting the desired information. The second category of issues is agent down related issues. For example, the state of the process engine goes to error or any other state. Whenever the agent is down, we can troubleshoot using the log files that are available in the agent directory. Agent core log file present in the agent core folder. This is the first log to check for issues related to the agent as agent core monitors all the services. Thus, we can check the logs whenever a service is stopped or started. Second one. PostGray log file present in the PostGray SQL folder. Check this log whenever we encounter issues related to PostGray SQL database. Third one. GC log o current log file present in logs folder. This file is used to check how frequently the garbage collector is running and to check the allocation failures. Under the same folder, we have scripts log file, 
which is used to check any errors related to agent scripts such as start, deploy and so on. We can also check Catalina log file for issues related to Tomcat processes. We can search for the error or any issue in one of these logs and troubleshoot them accordingly. If we are still not able to find the cause of an issue, we can forward these logs to the Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this way, we can access different logs that are available for troubleshooting a process in CAI.